Hi Libra, this is your December 2020 monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about work, business, finances, and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of December. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this month. We have the Fool, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords, and we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I think the Queen of Swords is uh, you in the spread, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, and uh, that is uh, you in the first card, the Fool. <laughs> I'm not calling you the Fool. But the fool in this case is just somebody who is lighthearted, somebody who is just perhaps happy that this year is coming to an end. Uh, you feel kind of liberated. You're looking forward to 2021, and uh, you are going to holiday parties. You're seeing people. You're meeting with people, if that is at all possible, right? Then perhaps you are going to meet this new person at one of those events. And uh, it's going to be very light-hearted at first with the page of ones, right? You'll be flirting with each other, perhaps you'll start uh, texting each other, emailing each other, calling each other. Um, but then it will become something more serious. Um, we've got uh, the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles right there on the right. Those two cards are actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those cards came out. So the Knight of Pentacles is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with, or this person is going to become very, very serious, very, very quickly, right? And they're going to come forward with the Ace of Pentacles offer. And it's kind of symbolic that the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a coin, and I think that's exactly the coin we see in the Ace of Pentacles. It's very symbolic. The Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, so that's what this person wants to offer you. They want to share everything they've got with you. And uh, we have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Swords right there in the middle. The Queen of Swords is like I said is you, but the Three of Pentacles is all about building something from the ground up and making sure that the foundation is solid. So um, yeah, see? It's, uh, it's gonna become... It's going to be an interesting month, that's what I'm trying to say. You are very happy and lighthearted in the beginning, but then you meet this person and it gets serious really quickly. <laughs> I think you're not expecting this to happen. You think that, uh, or at least up until now, you thought that December is going to be an easy month. Uh, you're not going to be uh, you know, thinking about committed relationships too much. You, you feel like you just want to celebrate and have fun. But then you meet this person and uh, it's going to become a completely different story for you. But I think it's going to be good for you. Because like I said, this person is serious. Um, yeah. It looks very promising because this person is really into you. The, he or she is so into you, like I said, they are willing to share everything they've got with you. Alright, so, so that's what i got for you so far. Libra, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person. We'll see if you'll take the offer, if you'll accept the offer. And uh, we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because this is what people are interested in the most. Libra, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords clarified by the Four of Cups, we have the Fool and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, Libra, your faith is going to be tested this month. Somebody is going to try to seduce you with the Seven of Swords right there. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who sneaks around, but uh, the good news is that it's clarified by the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is the card of a rejection. Alright, so you're going to tell them no. And uh, you will continue to stay in your very happy and emotionally abundant relationship or family. That's what this Ten of Cups, the first card on the left, is all about. The Fool 
card right next to the deck. This is you sort of uh, feeling great about this rejection. You feel great that uh, you were able to um, tell him no. Straight and simple. And the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, right there, this is you um, cutting this person out of your life. The one who was trying to get you to step out of your marriage or relationship. Alright, cool. Good for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this month. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Seven of uh, Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups, then we also have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Swords and the World. Um, somebody is coming back around, and it kind of looks like you've been waiting for them to come back around. Yes, you have. <laughs> or at least you've been secretly wishing for them to come back around, or subconsciously hoping they would come back. So the Wheel of Fortune, the first card on the left, this is a repeat of a cycle, right? Um, then we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Swords. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, and the Ten of Swords is a card of an ending. So the waiting is coming to an end because we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is that person coming back from the past offering you love. Um, turns out that they are still in love with you. They can't really uh, live without you, and that's probably why you uh, thought they would come back. You just felt it, or you just knew it. Right? So, yeah, the Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. And uh, then we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Swords and the World. Those three cards are actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be, and those three cards came out. So the Three of Cups is all about a union, but in this case it's a reunion. It's very similar to the Wheel of Fortune. This is a repeat of a cycle. The two of you are burying the hatchet and getting back together. And the Eight of Swords, clarified by the world, this is um, you feeling stuck, feeling trapped, uh, the same way the Seven of Pentacles here is talking about, right? You've been waiting for this person, thus uh, you were really stuck because you couldn't move on, you didn't know when they're coming back, so you were basically sort of hanging in, in the air. So that energy is coming to an end because uh, here they are with the Ace of Cups. Uh, the world is that end card, so the uh, Eight of Swords the Eight of Swords energy, the energy of you being trapped and stuck is coming to an, to an end with the World card. The World is my happy end card. So here we are, and here you are, <laughs> getting back together with this person, and hopefully it works out this time around. I'm really happy for you, Libra. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra, this month. We have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Page of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. So, um, the Seven of Cups right there in the middle, this is a card of um, multiple options. So, you could get more than one offer to start a new job, or perhaps you already have a job, but then somebody else comes along, something lands on your lap, and uh, you'll be facing a decision. Should you stay or should you go? Should you invest your money into this opportunity or another opportunity, should you collaborate with somebody or not. And I think you're going to make a choice at some point during the month and uh, with the Page of Swords you're going to let uh, the uh, one of those options know, or all of them, which option you're going to go with, right? And the Ace of Wands clarifying the Page of Swords is the new beginning. Could be a new job, could be a new uh, business adventure, or if you're with them the same company, you could be uh, deciding between multiple projects or a certain direction you would want to take your team, right? Because the Three of Pentacles, the first card on the left, this card is uh, working in a team environment, collaborating with other people or building something together with others. So um, you're clearly here in the lead because you're the one making the decision with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the decision you will make at some point during the month. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Libra, for the whole month of December. We have the Chariot, clarified by Death, then we have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Six of uh, Swords, and we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Four of Cups. 
you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio. So it kind of reminds me of the spread I did for the couples, married or those who are in a relationship. It's this spread right here is talking about that somebody may come back from the past and uh, offer you something, offer you a relationship or like I said during that other spread they're gonna offer you to step out of your relationship or marriage so the advice here is to reject that offer and move on or move away from that person. Alright so the first two cards are the chariot and death. Uh, the chariot is the personal cancer card and the uh, death is the personal Scorpio card. So somebody could be, death I think in this case represents somebody from the past and the chariot represents the movement, movement forward or movement to the side. <laughs> and um, the nine of wands clarified by the six of swords represents you um, putting up a wall and saying no to this person and moving away from them with the six of swords and then we also have the six of cups clarified by the four of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups is all about somebody coming back from the past and the Four of Cups is the rejection card. So yeah, it's kinda funny the way the spread came out. It's all over <laughs> um, the place, but yeah, the message is still clear. Say no to this person from the past uh, and uh, stay in your relationship and stay in your marriage. I'm not saying that that's not the way you usually are, but uh, cards are saying that especially this time around just stay away from this person all right Libra so that's what I got for you for this month hopefully it resonates and uh, other than that have a great month and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing